Europe has been completely ravaged by the virus and its economy is crippled with an estimated 6% contraction in the ongoing calendar year. It was obvious to expect that China would receive huge backlash in Western Europe and the United States, the regions which have faced the most devastating effect of the virus, but unfortunately, the European governments have disappointed. In the geopolitical game, equations are not so simple. While the US is leading the pushback against China and has taken the UK along, the European Union is siding with China despite the devastating effect of the virus on countries like Italy, Spain and France, the countries which are expected to record the highest economic contraction in their remembered history. It is not that the European people do not have anger or resentment against China. The people of Europe, like everywhere else in the world, are angry with China's complicit role in the spread of the virus. The European media is reporting extensively on this. But governments in the European countries and the lethargic bureaucratic establishment of the European Union is too fearful of the dragon to take a tough stance. Almost a month ago, the European Union first wrote a scathing report on China's attempt to cover up the spread of the virus. The initial report said, China has continued to run a global disinformation campaign to deflect blame for the outbreak of the pandemic and improve its international image, and added that both overt and covert tactics have been observed. But after China objected to the report, the EU officials junked the sections critical of the Chinese government. The people of Europe who lost their loved ones due to the mistakes of the Chinese government are obviously not happy with the Chinese establishment, but the European Union is not ready to take on China. Last month, the people in Ukraine attacked buses carrying Chinese evacuees. One can obviously not justify such attacks, but this shows anger against Chinese government and its people in Europe. Francesca Marino, an Italian journalist, wrote a detailed article for Indian publication The Quint titled Why We Italians Are Angry With China and Want War Damages. She explained how the Chinese embassy in Italy and paid trolls are carrying out information warfare in Italy to build a positive sentiment about China while the people are pushing back. A few politicians who have been involved in bringing China and Italy together and benefited from the Italian government signing the BRI project were pushing Chinese Communist Party's propaganda in Italy. In France, Le Figaro, the largest selling newspaper, is leading the campaign to expose the CCP's malpractices in dealing with the virus. The editorials of Le Figaro have been so critical of the Chinese government that last month, Global Times, the mouthpiece of the Chinese government, published an article titled French paper follows US in attacking China. Economic Times, the popular Indian publication, also did a story on how hardly a single day passes in French media without exposing the great Chinese lie. The public mood against China is no different in Germany. Bild, one of the largest selling newspapers in Germany, published an article titled What China Owes Germany and sent a $165 billion bill to China as COVID-19 damages. Der Spiegel, a German news outlet widely read across Germany, published a report which alleged that China deliberately withheld information on coronavirus. However, despite such rage towards China in media and among the people across the European continent, the European Union is not ready to harden its stance against China and hold the country accountable for the death of more than 150,000 European people. The union led by de facto leader Angela Merkel and administered by EU's lethargic emotionless bureaucracy is siding with China instead of holding it accountable. The EU bureaucracy is so compromised that a bureaucrat in EU's foreign office removed the mention of coronavirus without consulting the EU office from an article which was to be published on 45 years of China's EU relations in China Daily. EU spokeswoman Virginie Batu Hendrickson said there was no consultation of headquarters and there was no consultation either of member states prior to the decision. She added that the decision was not the right one to take. The de facto leader Angela Merkel and EU bureaucracy is going against its own people to protect the investment worth more than $300 billion made by China in the last one and a half decade. In short, the EU leadership and bureaucracy are ready to betray their own people and forget their painful death to protect the business interests of big companies.